Hi, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my Triple Play Holiday Set, once again using the safety pin stamp. This is a way for you to make a friendship pin card for your best buddy or just any time that you kind of want to be nostalgic or add a little pretty accent to one of your cards or your projects. Very minimal supplies for this project, but I'm going to be using a lot of different ink pads just because I want to show you the different ways you can play with color. Love gray for the safety pens, but then colored safety pens are really fun too. Going to need a piece of cardstock. This is the Gina K Pure Luxury, four and a quarter by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. The ink pads that I'm using today, I've got the Gina K Moonlit Fog, Sweet Corn, Red Hot, Jelly Bean Green, and Turquoise Sea. I'm also going to be using accents from the Triple Play Filler Set and a greeting. On this particular card, I used an accent from Triple Play Frame and Fabulous frame fillers, this one and this one. So those will both fit onto the safety pin. There's a lot of different options and obviously I'm also going to be showing you how you can use your different adhesive bling, whether you like pearls, rhinestones, or a combination of both. And then just some blocks for those acrylics or those acrylic stamps. Okay, so to begin, I'm gonna leave it unfolded because I wanna have a smooth surface for my stamping. I'll stamp my greeting at the bottom and on this one, it looks like I did it in black. I don't have my black pad out, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the gray. The black would pop just a little bit more. And I wanna make sure that it is on there straight. So I lay it on my desktop in case it has a bend in it. And about a third of the way, maybe more like a quarter. Okay, and then I wanna just have those pins going back and forth, up and down across my card. Move this, it's kind of a flat surface for my pad. Okay, so I'm gonna put the first one right about here. I have an odd number, and I wanna stamp my ribbon on there before I go to the next one so that I know where to place the next pin. So you see either side will work. So you can have the ribbon going on this side or on this side. And then the other side is the side that actually looks like it's pinned through the cardstock. So I put that right there. And then I'm gonna stamp this off and I wanna use a different color. This time I'm gonna use, I think the yellow. And I'm gonna go at an angle, put it right here. And then I'm going to take this turquoise pad and put the little star on there. Okay. Now I'm going to do another gray one. This time I'll turn it so that it's upside down. And I think I'm going to put just some, some pearls on that one. Stamp it off again, and I think I want to make this one red. Okay, and put maybe a green embellishment on this one. Some green. And then I'm going to end with a green safety pin and I'm going to save a little bit of room because I want to have room for that ribbon. Okay, now let me show you a fun trick with the ribbon. So because this is a bold stamp, you can do a kissed pattern onto this. So you have all these different pattern belly band pieces in the triple play filler set. So I'm gonna use this polka dot one and I'm gonna put it right here on my block and I'm gonna ink it up with the turquoise C and then I'm going to press the ribbon on to the stamp 
and then I'm going to add it right there. And I had a little bit of red on it actually. I thought that the stamp was clean. I forgot to stamp that off. So make sure you do that. But now it just looks like a turquoise and red polka dotted ribbon. Okay, then let's add our shadow before we put on the embellishments because that's going to make it hard to go around that three-dimensional piece when I'm coloring. So let's trace it first. So we're just going to do the underside of everything. So I'm going to go under this and under that, under here, under here, and under the underside of that ribbon right there. And then I want to go under the tops of those hearts. And then I'll put a little bit under that ribbon there and right here. And then I want to do just a little tiny line going perpendicular to the opening on each of these. And then just a little bit under the top of that pin below the heart. You could put a little bit under these embellishments too if you want. Okay, and let's do just a little bit on this one. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some of my bling here. So let's do these pearls. So I'll put a pearl here. I just think this turned out so cute though. I couldn't have been more pleased. So you just have so many options with this pen. And if you wanna emboss these, you can. That should take a little more time, but it's really worth the effort because it really will look like a metallic safety pen. And then I'm gonna add just a little rhinestone to the center. And I don't know if friendship pens were big at your school, but they were at mine. I never had very many, but all you need is one or two good friends. And I'm gonna give this card to my son because they really like friendship pens and they do spirit week at their school. And that's it. You fold up the card and it's finished. I hope this gives you more ideas for how to use that safety pin and the ribbon in the set and how to use up all of your bling. And I did a square card today. People have been asking for that. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more ideas and inspiration using all of my stamp sets and visit us at Junica Designs and Stamp TV. Thank you for watching today. God bless.